Hi guys, Rhonda with Ann and H here with you. Okay, so today we are going to be making these super, super fun collage bits. I, oh, I, I fell in love with this. Um, I'm going to have to, Charmaine Coquille, Coquilla, Coquilla, Co I watched a video of hers. I also watched uh, 49 Dragonfly, and they were both doing collage rolls. And then Charmaine did, took hers a step further, and she turned the roll into like a matchbox where you just a sec, come on. Where you just unfold your little collage strips, which I, these were so much fun to make. And then I've got another one here. I, I just, I mean, I'm speechless. Oh! <laughs> they were so much fun to do. And just think how fabulous this would be to go in Happy Mail or something of that nature. And then, of course, I took it a step further. I, you know, and I had started on the roll to do the collage and ripped one off to decorate the top of my, and look how gorgeous that is. And it's already prepared. They're already prepared for when you just need them for a little bitter bob somewhere on a page or, you know, whatever that way. So then I just did this one um, yesterday. And here again, I was doing it on the receipt roll paper, you know, the, those old adding machine. Uh, and this is about two and, oh, let's see, how wide is this? Two and three quarters wide, and then I made these three inches wide. But look, you guys, just look. Are these not the most fun? You can have them themed if you want. Like these, obviously, I'm kind of, I love florals, and I love the pastels, and I just, oh, so this one would be, you know, florals, hello. <laughs> and then I just, I just, I, I just, got, <laughs> there's so much fun, you guys. You got to do them with me, Okay. This is what we're going to do today. Um, I'm going to show you a few more of these. What I did was, then I, I did it with paper, and then I thought, oh, let's do some fabric. Of course, duh, hello, that's what I do. So I ripped me some old vintage, it's from an old uh, tablecloth that has some cutouts in it that had already been ripped up. And so I dyed it lightly and dried that and then ironed it. And then I just started building these collages onto it. And then my brain, sometimes it's like, oh, it goes in different directions. And I just kind of have to follow where it takes me, right? So then I thought, well, Let's cut these apart and maybe we can hook them together in a different way to send. And so I cut them all apart and then I didn't like the ends where I had cut them all apart. And so I did kind of burn the edges just a little bit. Not that I'm encouraging anybody to do this. Do not do this. Unless you have the proper equipment, you have the knowledge, and you have the backup help and whatever else you need. Because I don't want to get in trouble for showing something that 
that would be dangerous. So I'm not, I don't show that part. And you don't have to have that part either. You can fray your edges. But look, is these just precious? One right after the other. I've actually, I've toyed with the idea of having some of these in my Etsy store. So let me know what you think, if it's even something that you would be interested in purchasing. I don't know. But aren't they just, ah, I'm just loving them. And then, <laughs> and then I thought, okay, well, now let's do a deliberate so that, you know, you're not fraying your edges that way. Do a deliberate spot for them. Make a frame. And so that's what I did with these was I stitched around and left my edges, you know, because that's cool. That looks fun. And so there's my fabric. And then just put the collage in. And the, they're so much fun. They're just so much fun. And you can do so much. Like I said, you could do themes. Like these three are these eerie stamps, okay? And they've got butterflies. And then these two are, I, I bought these from a gal on Instagram and she had uh, gone around these little simplicity patterns and made stamps you know, faux stamps out of those, which I thought was super cute. And let's see, did I, did I, did I, did I? I'm trying to find. Okay, I guess I've only finished. I thought I had more, but maybe I don't, maybe I don't. Anyway, so I have finished these five and Together, we're going to finish, oh, there it is. Then we're going to finish uh, one or two. We'll see how it goes. <clears throat> so, I'm super, super excited to show you. And I will put the links below to uh, the videos that I saw that I was inspired by that you can go and watch. Um, you know, everybody just kind of, you do your own take on something that you see and that you're inspired by and that you're amazed and so that's what we're going to do first before we do that I'm going to take just a few minutes and I'm going to also highlight my next few entries for my giveaway my 5,000 subscriber giveaway and in case you haven't uh, participated but you want to there is still time for you to do that so I just want to put that out there and I'll put the links to that if you want to participate okay I'm gonna kind of go through these uh, quickly <clears throat> but I do want to thank everybody that is participating I appreciate so much it's so exciting when I get some mail I'm just like oh it's so much fun and to see your art and to to get the little notes that you send with is just I just really appreciate it I love you guys just just want you to know that okay so this is from Mary Barrett uh, across the pond and she of course is already entered but she sent me another something and I just I, it's just so sweet so she sent me a, a sweet note, and I, I won't read that aloud, but here's a sweet little envelope pocket. And then look at this, you guys. Look at this Rolodex card. I just was in love. And she has these cool, these, you know, I think I'm going to do this. Open it. Give it a little nudge. She has these wonderful little lightweight. Oh, <laughs> okay, it had an open. Okay, now it's open on both sides. All right, dummy me. Look how beautiful that is. Let me. 
Is that just precious? Ugh. And then this sweet little envelope, and it's got all of her information on it, typed. I'm just like, oh, that is so clever. So sweet. Thank you so much, Mary. You are a sweetheart. And she sent me a couple of little gifts, and I have been waiting to do this online so you all can see with me. Oh, that is cute. Cute, cute ribbon, and I love purple. Oh boy, do I love purple. This will be so much fun. <gasps> oh, oh my word. <gasps> oh, look what she has sent. Oh, you sweetheart. Did you beat those? Mary, you have to tell me. Did you do these yourself? Oh, regardless of whether you did or not. This is amazing. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, okay. I'm in love. <laughs> I'm in love, girlfriend. Oh, my word. What? Oh, and a pin cushion. Quilted and done in my favorite colors. Oh, Mary. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I will treasure these. I absolutely will treasure these, hon. Oh, my word. For right now, that is just going to go like right there. Oh, so pretty. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mary. You did not need to do that. And I don't want anybody else to think you have to do that. You do not. You, oh, that is so precious. I'm going to set that aside. Mary, you are such a sweetheart. Okay, <clears throat> moving on. This was my next entry, and this is from Trudy Griffin, and I thought this was super fun. She did a Halloween. She's got a jump, you know, doing, I just thought, oh, how fun is that? Thank you. I love it. And I, and the paper, this is very cool, too. Or this will go great with the Halloween upcoming. So that was wonderful. And then my friend Rita sent in an entry. She's the Marie. I don't know how to pronounce it. I just call her Rita. <laughs> but Gamarie scrapbook, scrap shack on uh, anyway on Etsy. And she does amazing things, too. Love her. Look at this. Isn't that just the sweetest Rolodex card ever? There's her information. Just the detail that she took is just so, so sweet. And the back of that, just darling little bird so cute and then there she is to find her oh thank you thank you thank you thank you Rita I love it all right moving right along now we have Bonnie Neville and if I'm or Nexel Neville <laughs> I think I'm gonna read and she embellished this envelope, too. Isn't that beautiful? She took a white envelope and added some beautiful embellishments from a paper napkin. So I thought that was pretty wonderful. And then she made this really beautiful card. She's embossed it. Isn't that gorgeous? It's got some little blingy dots right there. So that was very nice. Very, very nice. Look, the ATC card. Everybody needs a hug. 
<laughs> oh, so sweet. So sweet with a little bit of bling there. And then her information on the back. And let me glance here. Bonnie Neville's. I think it's Neville's. But please correct me if I'm wrong, Bonnie. I apologize. And then she's got this sweet, sweet little envelope. Look at this. How darling is that? The window envelope. And then she's put just, just the sweetest. She's got a little notebook here. Is that just cute? I love it. I love it, love it, love it. That was super sweet. Thank you, thank you, Bonnie. Very, I, I just, and she sent me an extra napkin here, and she's got a note here that I, of course, read in private, and I have read the note. I, I love getting the notes and things from you guys, too. I really do. It just, I don't know, it just makes us feel like we're just... We're good friends, even though we don't see each other in person, we hang out together, and, and I love that. Okay, and then Karen Torsh, and again, Karen, if I'm mispronouncing your name, please let me know. Either Kevin, Karen Torsh or Tarsh, I'm not sure which. She has beautiful writing. But it looks like it might be an A. That's how she does her A's. I don't, I'm not sure, but it doesn't matter. Look, is that just gorgeous, you guys? Look how pretty. She's got all kinds of little layers going on here in this ATC card. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Got the background, and she's layered it with the napkin, and then she's layered it with the flower. And the cute little smell and the butterflies. Oh, so, so sweet. Thank you, Karen. And then the last entry that I have received, um, I got this yesterday. And this is from Elizabeth Seagart. And there again, I love pink. And pink is always a good idea. Oh. Uh, Look, 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 look. Oh my word, look how gorgeous. Oh, so, so pretty. Oh, I feel so privileged to have some of your art. You ladies are amazing. Amazing. It's got a sweet note. And then, look at this. And who does not love glassine? If you don't love glassine bags, I'm not sure we can be friends. <laughs> well, I guess we can. <laughs> but <laughs> we'll have other things in common. But I do love a good crunch on the glassine. You know that. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at this tag. And she has included a gorgeous embellished paper clip with this Oh, look at this heart. Is that just amazing? So, so pretty. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Beautiful, beautiful art. I'm just, I just feel so blessed to have you share with me, ladies. And this is her information in here. And isn't that a cute way? To do it. I've not thought of that. I hope you don't mind if I borrow that <laughs> idea. <laughs> All right. Oh, my word. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, I am just, I'm beyond thrilled. I really, I am blown away by your kindness. So, thank you to the entries that have come in, and there's still time. For those of you that have not entered yet, and let me just move that out of the way, and let's see. I'm keeping track. So, 
Elizabeth was number 17 on the entries. So, as you can tell, you have a pretty good chance. I mean, I mean, obviously, if it were just three, then everybody wins. But I hope that it's been a fun process for you and you don't feel like you're a loser if you don't win. Um, the art is amazing and I love the, that you're sharing it with me. Okay, now, <clears throat> getting back to this, and I really do kind of move on this pretty quickly because the video is, you know, sometimes it gets a little bit lengthy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you just a very, very basic outline that you can use for doing your collages. And let me bring in a little sheet that we can glue and paste on. All right, <clears throat> now, um, I do stitch, and you'll notice that a lot of these have stitching on them. Um, but I know that some of you do not. And so for today, what I'm doing, I'm not going to stitch these. I have gone around here, but you can also, with a, a fabric marking pen, you can mark stitching lines or you you know you can draw like you can get a straight edge and you can with a marker you can draw and do that if you don't have if you don't sew or you don't enjoy sewing so that's an option for you I don't want you to think that if you don't that you know you're just you're just out whoops wrong way Oops, bring it in so when you have your fabric piece and this is what, let me grab it here. This is what mine looked like after I had ripped it in a long, and this was the, it was an old uh, part of a cloth, a tablecloth. So that's what I um, started with. Well, this is the original. And as you can see, it's really old linen, and it had some tears and whatnot in it, but I just ripped around. So it started out like this, and, um, <clears throat> hang on, just one sec. I'll be right back. I just want to show you. I actually wasn't going to do this part. But I, I do want to show you, but I need to take that out to, so you can see more. So I have my coffee that, uh, and I, I don't drink it. I, again, I have to, <laughs> kind of a disclaimer, I love it for dying, but I, I don't drink coffee or tea. Um, I mean, herb tea I do. Okay, see the white? This is how I come up with this kind of thing and I think that's beautiful beautiful so I would take but I don't want it to be that I just want to show you I don't necessarily want to do that big of a piece but we'll do this piece all right and I'm almost out. I have to do some more. Okay. So we are just scrunching that up. And we will just You don't have to spend hours in your kitchen, ladies. And I have, if you look on my playlist, I have some where I show lazy, I call it lazy way to coffee dye. That's how I get this, okay? Just so you're aware, 
you can and I I go all through that with you in that video if you care to take a look there so I'm gonna remove that so now you've got your beautiful fabric and I have my fan on and it's blowing things <laughs> so then I cut this in strips and the way I decided how to do it was just however long my strip was I would go ahead and I would cut and then I'd fold it and then I'd cut and then fold it again and then cut and that gave me eight eight pieces for this particular project and then you can fray the edges if you wish okay all right now let's get back up here let me show you the easy peasy process okay basically you're going to use that's just a little bit too close okay you're going to use three basic pieces and I include things like um, cheesecloth this has been coffee dyed of course the same way that this was by the way um, laces different old vintage laces fabrics and I have here little bits and bobs just little pieces and then in this one I have a little bit bigger pieces and then I also have strips so it's easy to find you know something that you can work with so you'll need three or four of those types of things different papers dictionary pages ledger pages um, children's books uh, other books um, just whatever foreign language books whatever uh, you're interested in will work all right so I've got some that's pretty close to the same color tone and that's pretty big that may be just a little bit too big so let's try let's try that okay I'm just gonna do it right or wrong we'll see and I am using art glitter glue for this and like I said I am not going to stitch around this because I want those of you who don't do that to be confident and comfortable that with the gluing process as well okay there's one thing. Now let's find another. Let's find another. That could work. And I, you know, I mean, you're just, you're just doing. All right. I'm trying not to think about this too terribly much. Because when you start thinking about it a whole bunch, then it can start to bog you down. All right, so there's that. And now we need something, something. What do we need? Hmm. By the way, I hope everybody is doing well. I hope you are happy that you are creating and that you are feeling loved because you are important just want you to know that you matter we all matter the lord is good okay okay let's go with that by the way I went to an auction, an estate sale auction on Saturday with, whoa, with my son, daughter-in-law, 
and um, <laughs> it's been a long time since I've been to one, right? And my uh, there were three little books that I wanted to bid on, but I was going to have my daughter-in-law do the the bidding because she's you know she's just better at it and she's comfortable you know with with that process um and so we waited and we waited and we waited and they were doing all this they had all kinds of glassware and whatnot out and they <laughs> finally got to this particular um book these little set of three books that I wanted well, I look around, and my daughter-in-law is gone. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, no. And I had my own number, so I bid. <laughs> you know, you can get caught up in the bidding kind of thing. And so when it was over, I won. But I had no idea how much I paid <laughs> for <laughs> these little books. And they had put them in a... In a wooden, well, just a minute. I gotta show you. I gotta show you guys. This, wow, heavy, 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 heavy. Okay. So they put them with these other little things. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. <laughs> but I. <laughs> anyway. I only wanted the books, and they're not even here. I've got them in my bookcase now. But this is to show you what else they put with it. Because sometimes, you know, little things don't go, so they put things all together. So, when I go to pay, I was thinking that maybe I had paid, you know, $20 or something like that. And I ended up paying $55. <laughs> it was like a very expensive, it was kind of funny. I mean, we just laughed about it afterwards because it just so happened that my daughter-in-law, she got a call from my granddaughter right at a crucial time. And she was taking her call. We'd been waiting and waiting and she didn't, you know, realize. And we didn't, anyway, it was like, okay. <laughs> but that's how things go. All right. So we've got the three. Now we can also add an element with stamps. This can give you additional um, texture. So I'm using the tea dyed by Tim Holtz and then I've got a black and I have these stamps that I have been using this is just a script stamp. It is Hero Arts. So I'm just stamping part of this and I don't want it too terribly dark. And you can see, you can see, but it's very light. But I, I'm doing that deliberately because I don't want too much. I don't want it to overpower. I just want it there. Okay, and then I also have this, and this is Inkadu. And I think I bought both of these in Hobby Lobby at one time or another. I was there the other day, and they do have them, so I know that uh, they are available. Okay, so. I, so you see, I, I didn't, I don't want that either too terribly uh, pronounced, okay? That's another thing that I did with mine. So we'll just go ahead and put those away. So now, let's see, it's coming, it's looking pretty good already, right? And I've done hardly, I've, I've done practically nothing to it. Three little pieces of paper. 
Okay, now let's get us a little piece of lace. Um, well, let's, and this is so old that it really does just tear. I love, I love working with some of these old vintage pieces. They just, don't they just, ooh, they just look amazing. So, what have you ladies been up to? I had a frustrating week, if I'm being honest. I, it was hard to focus on my art. And I just, I don't know, sometimes I just, feel like everything's just, you know, clicking and it's just going great. And then for whatever reason, and there's no real, I can't think of a reason why it shouldn't be great. So anyway, just sometimes you just don't quite feel like your muse is right there next to you. Sometimes she's visiting her friends. And if she was visiting one of you, that's perfectly fine. I'm happy to share her. <laughs> but <laughs> could you please send her home? <laughs> she is loved and missed. Okay. So now I need a focal point. And because I have been doing flowers and whatnot, let's just... See, I've got some different. That, oh, that almost looks like Christmas. Birdies, yeah. Hmm. And these. That's a little too big. I have so many images, you guys, of birds and flowers and flowers and more flowers and I have cutouts and I have, oh, and sometimes it's hard to focus on, you know, figure just one. I like that, but that may be a little too big. Let's, well, let's give it a try. Hmm? Now, for that, I have to take my glasses off. Yep, see me without my glasses. I'm getting to the point where, and I'm telling you, this is just very pitiful, that I have to take my glasses off to see. Is that pitiful? Hello. But sometimes, I think... I had trifocals at, at one point, and I, I haven't been to the eye doctor for a while, and I probably do really need to go back and, and have everything adjusted. It's just, uh, I just don't like to have to go out to appointments and things like that. I've always been bad about doctor's appointments and dental appointments and you know, all of that kind of thing. I mean, I go, I do. Well, my husband would say I'm very stubborn <laughs> and I don't like to go. He's much better about making sure he has his regular appointments and all of that kind of thing. I am just going to cut that around. Let's see. What do you think? Does that look good? Let's trim off some of this though, huh? Yeah, I agree. Don't want it to look so... That's better. Okay. Now another thing you can do, guys, you can add word strips. 
you can add you can ink around your edges in fact this if we do a little bit around here that would be nice and then let's just ink around here I guess I could put my glasses back on <laughs> oh! <laughs> Run to put your glasses on. All right, fine. Aha, aha. The world is there. Okay, now this is good. I like it. I think I'm going to add one more itsy bitsy, tiny little embellishy thingy. I think we're going to. We're just going to do that and just get a little bit more texture. I love texture. And then we'll glue this on. Oh, this is pretty. This is pretty, guys. I'm very happy with it. All right. So you don't have to stitch. You can absolutely glue. And for those of you that do stitch, go for it. Right? Okay. I think that is good for this video. I hope you are all well. I pray you will be blessed and strengthened and love to you all. Until next video, bye now. P.S. Subscribe to Rhonda's channel. Subscribe to Rhonda's channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to Rhonda's channel because you know you like her. I hope. <laughs> subscribe hit the like button hit the bell by it so you don't miss any of my videos and by the way check out my Etsy store um, I would love I would love your support in that way as well if you want to okay this is really it bye